Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is one in a series of videos I'm doing about um, dealing with assets inside the Unreal Engine. Um, and uh, in this one, I am particularly focusing on removing unused assets. So this is a thing that um, is seems to be from uh, the things that I've seen quite a common thing for people to want to do, and. Um, there doesn't seem to be a single easy, uh, you know, straightforward button in Unreal uh, which you can click, uh, where uh, you can basically say, "Just get rid of everything that I'm not actually using in my in my project." Um, things I think have got a little bit better in uh, Unreal 5.4, and I'll explain uh, why I think that's the case. Um, this is kind of a repeat of another video on my channel uh, about uh, removing uh, uh, unused assets. Uh, there's a little bit of an update in this one, uh, but there's not a huge amount of difference between the two videos. This one kind of fits into the, the playlist that I'm doing more neatly. Uh, it seems to be one of my most uh, popular videos, so um, I don't know if repeating it will make that give us any kind of more popularity. Anyway, let's get on with it. So the situation that I've got here is I have got a, a third-person template map, and you can see there's a few things that I've uh, put in this map. Um, I've also got a pack here, which is uh, from uh, a Korean heritage uh, set, which I'll just have a, a quick flick up and show you the, the stuff that's here. Now, if you've been watching these videos in a series in the playlist, then uh, you'll have seen uh, this stuff before. You've seen me actually acquire these and use them and do all sorts of things with this um and um in i think it was the last video i showed how to um use stuff from a uh, from a pack robustly in such a way that you can just delete the whole pack once you've got what you want but it's a bit of a, a faff and a palaver and i recognize that people might not go through that process you might find you uh, you're only finding out about that kind of late on in your project. Um, but uh, the scenario is uh, basically you've got a project that you're making and you want to hand it over to somebody else and you're not using GitHub, you just want to kind of uh, transfer it through uh, OneDrive or something like that. And your uh, project that you've got is is multiple gigabytes in uh, size. And one of the, the main reasons for bloating projects is getting packs and only using a few things. So what I've done here is I've uh, I've used a few of these objects from that pack. We can see that the shells, ray, there's two, there's a, a box and a pan thing. That's a, a grain store apparently and a kind of bit of furniture and a, a plate. Oh, the plate's floating in me there. That's quite, um, uh, I should fix that at some point. The other thing that I've got here is you can see this uh, little platform. Uh, which is not uh, part of the uh, part of the set, and I'll show you what that does. It's a blueprint that I've created. So if I play the game, when I step on this pad, it's going to create a box off to the left. There. Um, and I, what I've deliberately done here is create a scenario where I have two blueprints. I'll just go into my blueprints. Uh, where that pad exists in the world, but that box is created by the pad. And so there is no instance of that box in the world. Um, and um, my perception is that in the past that this has been a problem if you've had things that you create on the fly. And let's just very quickly, for the sake of it, go into that blueprint and show you what's going on there is that you have to begin overlap. I've actually got a a little point off to the side, which is this thing called scene, which is where it spawns the box, and it spawns uh, the box actor. Off the okay, so what I want to do is slim down this project, and we'll have a quick look at the uh, the size of the project. It's this particular project, so I can do scenes. And as you can see, if you can read that text that small, it's two and a half gig. I've just got one back in there. Uh, that's 
for Unreal projects is not too huge, but I can get that down quite a bit. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, you should always protect yourself in this situation. Uh, when you start to delete stuff, you've got there's a danger involved here. I will, I will say there's always this danger. So I'm going to down that project and I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to do Control C, Control V. I'm going to work on a copy. So that means that I've got a backup. So I'm going to work on this copy here. And we open that. Shouldn't take very long. So the thing that we're going to use is you know, you call that. Uh, the thing that we're going to use is a filter on the uh, content, which uh, allows us to filter assets by whether they're in use or not. Uh, but before we try and do that, um, I want to draw attention to the fact that inside this app there are two demo uh, maps. Uh, an overview and a demo. And those maps contain all the objects from the pack. And so when I try and filter by objects that are used, these two levels are going to hinder me from being able to delete those. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to uh, the root of the content. And I've got these filters here. So you can add filters to, uh, to, uh, to what you're seeing using this drop down box now I've actually because I've pre I've already used these it's put these as filters for me to use in the future but I can do it by you know, all sorts of different filters here um, I can't even remember where level is let's do is it in the blueprints no it's different kind of blueprints animations gameplay somewhere in all this is the level filter um sorry i can't find that because i've got it here so if i click that it will show me all the levels that are in my project so the third person map is the one that i'm looking at i don't want to get rid of that i want to get rid of these two so i'm just highlighting them and then pressing the delete button and it's going to ask me if i'm sure i'm going to say yes the second thing i'm going to do is let's take off that filter the second thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do the uh, fix up redirectors um, because uh, having redirectors in play can uh, cause issues. So um, I'm uh, I'm just going to go to so in 5.4 this has been changed to update redirect references. In previous versions it is called fix up redirectors. In my previous video I do a lot of talking about redirectors. So uh, if you want to know more about them and what's going on there, then go and look at that. This actually looks like I didn't have any redirectors to deal with, but it's a good habit to be in to, at that point, uh, fix up the redirectors. Next thing I'm going to do looks unusual because I'm going to close the project down and reopen. Um, and the reason for doing that is because um, the undo uh, uh, memory in your, uh, in your project can cause issues and mess things up. So uh, I, I think it makes life simpler and easier if you just close and open up again so that it clears that undo cache. Um, so we should now be in a position to get rid of uh, the, uh, the objects that we don't want. So I'm, what I'm going to do is use this other filter, not used in any level. I do know where that one is. So it's in other filters down here, and it's here, not used in any level. Uh, yeah, there's the level one, Look, right at the top one. You'll see it picked. Okay. So I'm just going to click on that, and it's going to show me a whole load of things. Uh, does it tell me how many? 629 items. Interestingly, it's not just stuff from the pack. We've got mannequins here from the, um, from the actual template. We've got a, an animation sequence that's not in use. We've got some materials that are not being used. It's therefore the male mannequin. Um, uh, I've also got something here that's uh, a leftover from uh, from previously, uh, from previous stuff that I've done. I got build data for the uh, third person map, but don't worry about that because it'll regenerate it. Got a whole lot of textures and materials and stuff in here. 
Now, the reason why I did this thing with the uh, with the pad and making the cube was because I expected this to actually have that cube blueprint down at the bottom end here, and it doesn't. Now, I can't 100% say that in previous versions of Unreal, this would have been a problem. I'm reasonably sure that there have been problems with this in the past. This is now 5.4. And it seems to be now intelligent enough to work out that that box blueprint is needed and um, so is uh, not included in this list of not used in a level. So what I'm going to do is uh, press Control a to highlight them all and then press the delete button. Appreciate you can't see my keyboard. And it's going to give me a list of all these things that jog forward it says it's got one reference in memory. I don't know why. Um, there may be others with references in memory that pose thing for a mannequin. So I could deselect those um, stuff to do with a mannequin, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to just do a force delete here. And he's going to think about it for a while and delete those assets. So what I'm going to look for is to, uh, look for is whether it's broken anything in my game. Um, and at this point, if you've got a lot of scripts and stuff, <coughs> you will want to do a thorough test of your game that everything's working. Uh, but I'm looking at these meshes. They all seem to be there, and the materials seem to be there. So with the textures, if I walk on my box, uh, my, my little pad, the box appears. So everything seems to be working as it should be for me. And let's go and see... As well, so the um, the size of this one, as you remember, it was uh, about two and a half gig. The size of this, uh, sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. Thing there, properties is six hundred and seventy-two megabytes, or six hundred and seventy-one, depending on which one you look at. So that's quite a significant reduction in size uh, as a result of doing this. Now, I will always say you need to be careful. And you need to make sure you keep a copy uh, of the, the original project. Uh, you never know, kind of down the line, if you've managed to delete something. Now, it's looked straightforward when I've done it, but I've not got a very complicated project here that I've been doing it with. The more scripting you've got, the more complex stuff you're going on in your project, the harder it will be to actually identify all the things that are safe to delete and more danger there is of deleting something that you that you shouldn't be deleting. Um, I will say that um, if you uh, use a prefix for anything that you create, that that does make it easier in this process. So if anything with your prefix comes up in the list of things to delete, then you're pretty sure either it's something you created and then stopped using, um, but uh, otherwise it's something you, you need to not delete. So. Uh, keep an eye out for those things. So that's the process for emptying out uh, assets from your project, and that's it from me for now.